Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me for some gentle chair yoga. I'm in Burlington, Vermont, and I'd like to share with you some movement that you can connect with your breath to hopefully find just a little more relaxation or a little inner peace. Now, when I say gentle chair yoga, we'll go about 25-30 minutes and we're connecting our breathing to our movement. And I would say it's, it's acceptable or appropriate for all skill levels at all bodies. Um, with that said, all of the movements that I suggest are suggestions. So please move with what feels best for you and your body. If something doesn't feel good, if it doesn't sound safe, uh, definitely refrain from doing it. And just focus on your breath. And, and what's best for you. Now, for our chair yoga, let's talk a little bit about our setup. So I've got a folding chair, and any chair will, will do. Just I, I recommend a chair without arm so that you have full range of motion without being blocked. Now, in my case, I'm, I'm on the small side, I'm under five feet tall, and so when I'm sitting in the chair, I can't sit back and have my back resting against the chair without my feet coming off the ground. So I might need some props to help bring the floor up to me. So in this case, I've got a couple options. If you had yoga blocks, yoga blocks work, work great for putting them under your feet. If you don't have yoga blocks, a folded up towel or a folded up blanket. So then that way you can place them under your feet bringing the floor up slightly, trying to find a 90 degree angle with the ability to sit comfortably back, back with your back against the chair, okay? Now, if you also have another blanket or towel, I would suggest grabbing that because we might need it for the end for Shavasana for our resting time. Also, it's a great prop, so if we're coming down forward, but it, it feels difficult to to hinge at the hips, that can help bolster you and support your body so you're not coming down quite as far. Now, if you're on the other end and you're on the tall side, maybe you find that you can't comfortably sit because your knees are coming up higher than 90 degrees, right? So in that case, you can take a blanket or a towel and put it on the chair to bring your hips up. So the goal is to sit comfortably for your body. So again, I'm going to grab my blocks. I'm going to place them close to the chair. Bring myself, my knees, to a 90 degree angle. Feet, ankles are parallel. Legs are parallel. They're about shoulder width apart. Now also, if you find that this feels unstable, or you feel like you might fall out of your chair, Feel free to bring your feet forward even more so that your feet are in front of your knees and perhaps that will provide the stability that feels best for your body. Now, for music, uh, if you feel that there's some music that you would like to play that would help you relax a little more, feel free to play it. Now, for the moment, let's get our bodies comfortable First, we'll get started with just some centering and setting our intention. Then we'll get into the body, do a little movement, starting up and down. And then we'll start working on some flow, so really focusing on linking our breath to our movement. Afterwards, we'll move into Shavasana, which is the resting pose or corpse pose. And then in that case, you may want a blanket or a towel to relax your neck. Lastly, I'd love to share with you a mudra for finding some peace. So, if you are all set, let's get our knees in the proper position. Our feet are parallel. Back is comfortably against the chair. Bring attention to the shoulders, trying to relax them down. And bring your attention into your surroundings. What color are the walls? Do you hear any sounds around you? 
now. If it feels comfortable, gently bring your eyes to a close and let's start focusing on our home day. With this particular breath, we'll try to find balance through inhaling and exhaling that we're an equal length of time. So on the inhale, I'll breathe in through the nose. the mouth. Perhaps holding the inhale for three seconds and exhaling for three seconds. Perhaps two seconds. However long, whatever feels good for you. So let's try one together and then we'll breathe on our own for a few moments. So inhale. Exhale. Now going at your own pace. Focusing on your breathing and your own body. And perhaps thoughts are flitting through your mind. And that's absolutely normal and absolutely all right. Just acknowledge these thoughts, let them go, and try to come back to your breath. Feel free to bring your body back to normal. Eyes are still gently closed. Breathing's flat. Finding some extension through your spine. So perhaps your back is coming off the back of your chair. Imagine there's a cord extending through the crown of your head to the sky, pulling you up. Now, if you find your chin is coming up, drop it just a few inches so that it's parallel with the ground. So for today's intention, I'd like to invite more peace into my life. Just recently, I find there are so many uncontrollable variables and so many uncontrollable things happening around me. And the thing that I can control is just myself and my, my inner being, my inner storm. So hopefully through connecting our breath and our body, we can find a little more peace and a little more clarity. And if you feel comfortable, just bring your eyes open. Feel free to close your eyes. Feel free to wiggle if you need to. Feel free to stand up if you feel like you've been sitting too long. Remember, this is your practice, so do what's best for you. So let's get started just with some movement. We'll start up, bring it down, and we'll move into some salutation. So let's inhale, arms coming up over the head. So option one, just relaxing the shoulders, hands are open. Option two, hands can touch. So here, you want to bring in the arms as high as what's comfortable for you. Exhale, arms coming down. So we'll inhale, coming up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up. Now, on the exhale, I'm going to go to one side. So option one, slightly bending to one side. Option two, hands are touching. Option three, perhaps grasping a wrist. Option four, feel free to grab your chair. So whatever's feeling good for you and your body. Now let's breathe here. And exhale, deepening into the pose. One more, inhale. And exhale, let's release. Inhale, we'll bring both hands up. And exhale, opposite hand coming down. Excuse me, let's reset. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, bringing the body to the side. So again, we have option one. 
option two, option three, or option four. So we're inhaling, finding some length, and exhaling, sinking into the three, inhaling, and exhaling. Let's release. Inhaling both hands up and exhaling. Coming down. So inhaling, shoulder circles back. Good. So moving down, let's inhale. And then exhale, hands can come to the hips, to your knees, or even to the chair for a little cat. So on the inhale, we're open through the shoulders, arching through the spine, belly's coming forward, moving away from the back of the chair. On the exhale, rounding the back, pushing into the back of the chair. If you find that it's impeding your movement, feel free to shift your body forward a little bit as long as you're feeling stable. So inhaling, opening through the chest, coming forward. And on the exhale, pushing your back towards the back of the chair, head coming forward into the letter C. Inhaling, opening, and exhaling, letter C. Last one. Good. From here, I'm going to scooch forward in my chair, making sure I still have stability here, dropping a foot. Opening up the stance. Now what we're doing here is opening through the hips into goddess pose. So again, we'll find whatever feels good for you. So maybe you're here, maybe you're a little wider. Maybe, maybe you want to pass. It's completely up to you and you can do the arm movements. So we'll find our leg stance and then the arms come to a 90 degree angle. So when we move into goddess pose, We'll inhale, finding length, and then on the exhale, we're going to turn with our torso, knees coming up. Now, sometimes people might be uh, inclined to just bleh, turn at the shoulders. And so you'll see that I look like I'm turning a lot more, but then my torso is not even engaged. So let's try that together. So legs are open to whatever position is comfortable for you. Arms come up into a 90 degree angle. Let's inhale. Trying to draw your belly in. And then on the exhale, leaning with your belly button, and turn slightly. We'll inhale here, holding it. And exhale, releasing it. So let's do that on the other side. All right, let's get our arms up into a 90 degree angle. We'll inhale, finding some length. And then exhale. Tightening our belly, rotating at the belly button. So here, let's inhale in and exhale. Release. All right. So moving downwards, feel free to push your body back into your chair, bringing our blocks or blanket to reset to a neutral position. 90 degree angle through your legs, knees and ankles parallel. And let's work a little bit on our ankles. So perhaps you angle your blanket or push your blocks forward. And we're going to bring some movement into our ankle. So on the inhale, raising our toes to the sky, exhale, bring our toes to the ground. So inhaling here. Option two, if you'd like to float your heel, feel free, you can support yourself under your thigh, and then inhaling here, exhaling here. Option three, supporting your ankle, excuse me, supporting your thigh on your chair, and then rising your ankle, lifting your ankle. So we'll inhale, toes coming up, exhale, down, inhale. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. If you're floating, drop your 
your heel onto the ground, and then let's do some ankle circles. And then opposite direction. Good. Now what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So let's reset. And then opposite foot, trying to straighten it out to the best to your ability, whatever feels good for your body. So option one, heel is on the ground. Inhaling, toes up. Exhaling, pointing. Inhaling. Exhaling. Option two. Perhaps you're supporting yourself. Option three. Thighs supported by the chair. Floating your toes. Let's drop our heel on the exhale. Legs still extended. Do ankle circles on one side. And ankle circles on the other side. And let's reset, coming back to our parallel position. I'm getting ready for some sun salutation. So feel free to push your back into your chair for extra support. Making sure that you have a blanket available for when you're bending over, you can catch, catch your chest. All right. So we're going to link our, our movement with our breath. So inhale, hands float up. Exhale, down. Now inhale, hands floating up. Exhale, hands coming down. And we're going to hinge at the hips and bend forward. If you'd like to grab a blanket and put it in your lap, feel free to do so. And so perhaps you're just bending forward a few inches. Perhaps you prefer not to have a blanket and are hinging at the hips. Ultimately, you just want to get more movement from here, hinging through the hips, and in the end, relaxing the neck down. Let's inhale, looking up, and exhale, sinking deeper down. Inhale here, and gently bring your body to an upright position. Inhale, hands coming up. Exhale, coming down. If you have a bolster or blanket in your lap, that's quite all right. You can drop it or you can keep it in your lap. Moving into cat and cow, hands can be on your knees, on your thighs, on your chair. Inhaling, opening through the shoulders and exhaling, rounding your back. Feel free to scooch forward if you need to. Inhale, opening. Exhale. Inhale. Coming to a neutral position. So let's do that one more time without any interruptions. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, getting ready to come down. Relaxing the neck, inhale, looking up, exhale, relaxing further into the pose. Inhale, bringing the body slowly up. Exhale, coming to neutral position. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands come to hips or chair. Inhale, opening. Exhale, curving the back out. Inhale, opening, gently. And exhale. Now let's inhale, coming to a neutral position. Reset, inhaling, and exhaling. So with the length of the breath and the movement, perhaps we got our body temperature up, but we're going to bring it back down with a resting pose called Shavasana. If you feel comfortable here, it's fantastic. If 
you feel like you'd like to lay down, feel free to lay down. You can put a blanket under your knees and under your head for a little support. Or if you'd like to stay in your chair and grab your blanket. And if it feels good, if it's not too hot, if you feel like it's giving you good support, feel free to put it around your shoulders just for a little neck support. Your Shavasana, we're bringing our breath and our awareness in. Feel free to gently close your eyes. Breathing in a breath. Perhaps inhale through the nose. Parallel, knees are parallel, shoulders are relaxed. And I'd like you to imagine, if you can, that on each inhale, we're bringing energy up through the bottom of your feet, extending through your body up to the top of your head, and then exhaling, releasing any tension your body. So imagine inhaling through your body and exhaling. Relax. Feel free to connect this idea and this breath to the individual body parts. So perhaps on an inhale, you'd like to bring your attention to your ankles. And release any tension from your ankles. And perhaps your knees or your hips. Taking a moment to breathe and slow down. Connecting with your breath. Finding peace within. To your chest, your neck, your shoulders. Feel your head. And then we will be for a few moments to connect the body and the breath. As we're moving back to our body, moving the toes, moving in your fingers, taking a moment to come back to the present when you're ready, gently bringing your eyes open. Feel free to drop your blanket if you'd like. And before closing, I'd like to show you a mantra to connect with a mudra. So mudras are hand movements that correspond to your body. So a very common one is when your hands are resting on your lap and you bring your thumb to the pointer finger. And here, what I'd like to do is we'll focus on this mudra and then also connecting our thumb to our other fingers. So if our palms are pointing towards the sky, then inhale. And on the 
also thinking peace begins with me. So for peace, the thumb meets the pointer, begins, thumb meets the middle finger, with, thumb meets the ring finger, me, thumb meets the pinky. Let's try that together if it feels good. We'll inhale. Why don't you try that on your own? And if you'd like to close your eyes to focus, feel free. Whatever's comfortable for you. Inhaling. Eyes are open. And feel free to move through it a few more breaths at your own pace. Feel free to bring your palms to your knees or your thighs, bringing your breathing back to normal. If you'd like to open your eyes, you can open your eyes. Let's inhale, hands coming up over the head. And feel free to bring your hands together over the top. Move with joy, happiness, and peace. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for some gentle yoga.